Hello everyone, my name is Elvin. I am the admissions director of Boston International Academy and I will be your host for Donut Day Summer 4. Let's begin. We would like to continue to emphasize the importance of following health guidelines such as wearing a mask, back to social distancing, so you can protect yourself, your friends, and family members. And please remember, please take care of each other. We are operating on reduced school hours due to COVID-19. If you need to come to DIA to get important documents, please do so Monday through Thursday from 8 in the morning until 4.30, Friday from 8 in the morning until 9.30, and Saturday and Sunday from 9 in the morning until 4 p.m. If you need to talk to us as soon as possible, I would recommend you give us a call or please send us an email so we can get back to you as soon as possible. We would like to welcome all the new students who have enrolled at BIA this session. Welcome. We hope that orientation was fun. And we would like to remind you that having books before class begins, it is really important. If you do not have your books yet, please send us an email or call us so we can give you your books. This also applies to all the students who are moving to a new level. If you're moving, for example, from events one to events two, you will need a new book. This means that you can get the book online or you can come to BIA and get those books. We use Quick Schools to track grades and attendance and payments for all students. For those students whose I-20 will expire on August 23rd, we would like to know if you will continue studying with us or if you will transfer to a new school. If you will continue with us, please respond to our emails that we have sent you this week as soon as possible. If you are thinking about leaving BIA, please let us know one week in advance. Thank you. Payment information. Please remember that your tuition is due at the end of the first week for every session, and your tuition has been lowered to $480. You can pay your tuition by calling us or emailing us. If you need more time to pay for your tuition, please communicate with us. We have created two videos for you to watch on how you can pay your school tuition or to check if you have pay your tuition already. For the summer four session, all students in the morning, evening, and weekend are allowed to miss up to nine periods. This is because in August, we do not have any holidays. So again, please remember this month, morning, evening, weekend, you can miss nine periods. We would also like to announce our summer break from August 24th to August 30th, we do not have school. You do not have classes. This will be a one-week break. We hope you enjoy this break and have fun with your family and friends. We have created BAH Happy Hour. BAH Happy Hour is an activity where students can join us, socialize, and play games with us. And we give out two Kindles every month to two lucky winners. Last month, we have fun with about 20 students, and we gave two Kindles to the following students, to Thomas and Alvaro. So congratulations, Thomas and Alvaro. And we would like to announce that we're doing the same thing for the month of August. This month's happy hour, the BIH happy hour, will be August 13th at 2.30 p.m. We will email you the link two days before this event, so many of you can join us. We would like to see as many students as possible join us, have fun with us, and also win prizes. Okay, so now let's talk about Fall 1, starting August 31st, because we are implementing a few changes that will impact everyone. So what is new for Fall 1 2020? Well, let's talk about our enrollment and admission policies. As you know, at the moment, our levels are 16 weeks long. However, this will change starting August 31st. And this will apply to all programs, Business English, ESL 24, and TOEFL 32. Our enrollment cycle 
new students can join BIA on one of the start dates in the year. Let's look at them. Students who wish to enroll at BIA for 2020, they can do that on August 31st or October 26th. For 2021, those students who are interested in beginning with us or enrolling with us for next year, for spring semester, they can begin their classes January 4th. Let's talk about tuition for fall one. Students can choose an installment payment plan of $480 every month or every four weeks, or they can make a full payment of $960. Again, students will have the option to choose and pay, make a payment plan of $480 per month or every four weeks, or they can pay in full one full payment of $960 per session. We have also created a new placement test. We have done this because we want to be more accurate and we want to place students into the right level for them. Our new 2020 placement test will place students into an A or B level. Okay, let's talk about our vacation policy now. Our new vacation policy will be eight weeks long. This means that students will need to study for eight months and take two months of vacation or study for sessions and take two months of vacation. When students come back from vacation, they may need to retake the placement test or change their schedule. This is done to make sure they're placed in the right level. Attendance rules. Students need to have an 80% attendance for every session. This means starting fall one, since the sessions will be eight weeks long, students will need to have an 80% attendance. If not, they will go on attendance probation. Since our sessions are now eight weeks long, this means that students can have a maximum of 19 periods absent. They can have more than 19 absences. If they do, they will go on attendance probation. If students violate the attendance policy and attend classes for less than 80%, this means that students will need to repeat the level with an individual learning plan. This also means that the student will need to change their schedule so they can repeat this class with a different teacher. Let's talk about how many consecutive absences or days a student can have. Morning and evening students, if they are absent for nine consecutive days, this will mean termination. If you're absent for nine consecutive days, your I-20 will be terminated if you're in the morning or if you're in the evening. Weekend students, they will have seven consecutive days absent, which means that if you are absent for seven consecutive days and you do not provide any medical note, your I-20 will be terminated. And again, showing up the next day to class will not prevent your termination. The following rules have no change, but we still want you to remember them. Students are allowed to have two lifetime probations at BIA. If you have more than two lifetime probations at BIA, your I-20 will be terminated. And please remember that holidays count as absences. We have created a list of holidays in 2020 and 21, so all of you know how many absences you can have on a given session. We will email you this list so all of you can have it and understand and know how many absences you can have per session. Hey guys, it's me, Olivia, the academic director. I want to start off by saying I miss you all so much. Okay, let's get started. New curriculum policies, very exciting changes. BIA will have more levels. <laughs> So, our students who are here in a high level will have more options. We don't want to see you go. Starting on August 31st, we will have 16 levels total. For example, Beginner A and Beginner B. The TOEFL program will be expanded. It will go from 6 months to 8 months or 32 weeks. So you can stay in TOEFL for a little bit longer. 
Business English, same idea. The program will go to about eight months or 32 weeks. Check out our new books. We will stay with American English file for our ESL program, but for High Advanced 2 and our brand new class, High Advanced 3, we will have a new, more interesting book. We listen to your feedback about the current High Advanced 2 book. Some students found it a little bit boring. So thank you to those teachers for creating interesting lessons. The new book should be an improvement. For TOEFL, we will be using Barron's and the official guide to the TOEFL IBT. For Career Business English, we will be using new, slightly more challenging books. Our current book is a little too easy for our advanced business students. Regarding the changes that Elvin mentioned, we will begin providing multi-packs. We will have American English File A and B. This will be useful if a student places into a B level. For example, a new student takes a placement test and she's a little higher than Intermediate 1, but not quite Intermediate 2. This student can now place into the middle of the level and use the B version of the book. The placement will be more accurate. In January, we'll get a new version of American English file. It will be very similar, but updated. This is great news. To join our TOEFL or Career Business English class, you must complete our ESL program up through High Advanced 1. Once you have finished High Advanced 1, you can continue in our ESL program or you will be eligible for TOEFL or Career Business English. If you are a new student and you place into High Advanced 2 or higher, you immediately have the option to take our TOEFL or Career Business English class. Level repeats. If a student fails for two reasons, low grades or low attendance, they have to repeat their level. Now, this is the tricky part. In order to repeat the material that you struggled with, you will be asked to change your schedule. This is because in the morning, for example, we will be teaching A. In the evening, we will be teaching B. If you fail A and you need to repeat A, you must switch to the evening, for example. We understand this might make your life a little bit difficult, but we want to put you in the right class. We don't want students struggling through material that they don't understand. I think this will be a good change. The grading policy. For your grades, you will get a midterm progress report at the end of week four. This is the same as your current schedule an exam after four weeks of studying. But now, instead of being considered a final, it is your midterm progress. After eight weeks, you will take a final exam. If you pass the final exam, you will advance to the next level, like normal. There are a few changes to our grading policy. There will be no more participation grade. I know this seems a little crazy, but it's a good change. Right now, we have some amazing students who always come to class and do all of their work. They get a good grade and they have to advance, even if they don't feel ready. 
by removing the participation grade, we'll get a more accurate score for you to make sure that you're in a level you're comfortable with. Please take a look at the grading policy when you have a chance. This one is for ESL, TOEFL, and Career Business English. Our academic policy. Each level at BIA will now be eight weeks. So, you will complete the first half of your book in these eight weeks. If you do a good job and you're comfortable, you'll advance to the second half of the book. If you do not understand the material and you do not pass your exam, you will be asked to repeat those eight weeks in a different schedule. There will still be no early advancements, absolutely no moving down, and no gray area repeats. We have to look at the numbers. If you pass, you advance. If you fail, you repeat. Our new placement test and grading policy should provide you more accurate grades. To pass the level, just like before, students need to have a 75% final grade after the eight weeks. If not, the student is placed on academic probation with an individualized learning plan. Now your attendance. Also to pass the level, students must have 80% or higher regarding their attendance. If not, the student will be on academic probation and an individualized learning plan. To be in good standing or to keep a good record with us, students need a 75% lifetime cumulative average. This means from the time you start at BIA to the present, your average should be 75% or higher. If you have a tough session and you get a low grade, that's okay. Please try very hard next session to bring your average up. An academic warning. After your midterm test, four weeks in, if you score less than 75%, you'll get an academic warning. Please don't panic. If you get an academic warning, you still have time to raise your grade, and there are few consequences. You'll receive an email, but don't stress. We're here to work with you to help improve your grade. Now, an academic probation is a little more serious. After you received the warning, if your grade did not go up and you're still below 75% after eight, eight weeks, you'll receive an academic probation. This is a little more serious because you need to repeat the level and you cannot go on vacation. An extended academic probation happens when your lifetime average is below 75%, but your current grade is good. Sometimes this happens. Maybe you had a tough month in the past, but now you're doing well. Unfortunately, the low grade will stay on your record and you need to work hard to bring up your average. You have 16 weeks to raise your lifetime average to 75% or higher. So you have a good amount of time and we will help you. You can advance to the next level if your current grade is good, but we will work with you to create an individualized learning plan and you cannot go on vacation. A combined academic probation is pretty serious. Your grades from the past were low and your current grade is low. You will have to repeat your level on probation and you will still have 16 weeks 
to raise your grade to 75% or higher. Roll call. You will have two roll calls every period. Teachers will take attendance at the beginning of the period, the very start of class, and again after 15 minutes. If you are present for the first roll call, you're good. If you are present for the second roll call, you're tardy. If you're present for neither roll calls, you're absent. Please take a look at the timetable for your schedule. Students are present for the first period if they are in class when the period starts. Students are tardy for the period if they are 1 to 15 minutes late. Students are absent for the period when they are 16 or more minutes late or if they don't attend class at all. Students are also absent if they leave 16 or more minutes early. When you have time, please take a look at the timetable for your schedule. Here's morning. Evening. And weekend. Our attendance policy for online learning. We've been online for a few months and we'll be online for a few more. We really need all of our students to take their technology seriously. You need to have a functioning device to be getting the most out of your experience here at BIA. It's very disruptive to you your teacher and your classmates if you don't have a stable connection or a functioning device. In order to be marked present, students must participate in their live Zoom classes actively throughout the entire class. Please note, your teachers work really hard to make these classes enjoyable for you. They want you to learn. Please give them the respect they deserve by being engaged while they're teaching you. Participation and safety. We're doing much better than we were at the beginning, but please do not engage in any illegal or unsafe activities. Mainly, we're talking about driving. Do not try to attend class while you're driving. Multitasking is great, but this is not the time. Your teacher can mark you absent if they don't feel that you are engaged. In order to be marked present for the period, we expect students to participate in discussions with their instructor, their classmates, breakout rooms, and class activities. The participation rule. Your teacher will call on you throughout the class and they expect a verbal response. If a student is not verbally responsive after being called on three times, your teacher can mark you absent and we will support your teacher. This doesn't mean that you can stop engaging after your turn. Please do your best to stay active in the class. If you need to use the bathroom, of course that's fine, but please inform your teacher so that they know why you're gone. Technical issues. You guys have been doing a great job with these. Please contact BIA staff as soon as you can about technical issues. Email us or document your issue with a screenshot. We need this as evidence for our records. If a student is close to termination and we have a record of a technical difficulty, that could help. So it's very important. Again, in order to be eligible for online learning, it's very important that you have appropriate devices. You need a decent connection and you need a functioning device. We will start being a bit more strict regarding this policy. You're expected to have your webcam on. 
it's really important that your teacher and your classmates can see your beautiful face. If you don't have a good working device, please email us. We've done a lot of research and found that the Amazon Kindle Fire is the best and mo most affordable option. It will allow you to do everything you need to do for class, and it's $50. So it's less than the price of a textbook. If your webcam isn't working temporarily, please keep your audio on and participate verbally. If your webcam never works, please find a solution. This is important. For safety reasons and for our records, we need you to use your name when you're attending your Zoom class. A lot of students use an iPhone or a friend's device, and we get uh, an unclear we need Francisco or Marcela. We need to know who you are. It helps with safety, and if you have a question about your attendance later, you can easily find your record. Attendance intervention plans. You guys have been doing an amazing job with attendance since we spoke to you about our new policy in May. Students will receive an automatic warning email when they hit 91% attendance, and again, at 83% attendance. A probation or termination notification will be sent if you drop below 80% attendance. These emails are automated, so if you feel like there's a mistake, please reach out to us and we can take a look at your records. If a student is on first or second lifetime probation status, current or completed, an academic department staff member will create an attendance intervention plan for them. Methods of intervention include phone calls, tech support, academic support, and organizing an assignment makeup. I'm sure many of you have received a lovely phone call from one of us at some point. That's it from me. I'm happy I got a chance to speak to you. I wish I could see your faces too. Have a great rest of your summer, and give us a call anytime you have a question. We would like to remind you that there's going to be a Google quiz with this video. Again, it is not mandatory, but if you do it, you will get extra credit. So we hope all of you do it, and good luck. Lastly, we would like to say thank you for being so understanding, respectful, and kind with all of us. And we would really appreciate if you can give us a like or a follow on social media. Take care of yourselves, and we'll see you next month. Bye-bye.